just got to the room. Check out the view, y'all. This right here is Tampa Bay. Right now it's spring break, so it's lit. Corona style lit. Everyone's wearing masks for the most part. Some people aren't, but it is what it is. So this is our anniversary weekend. Again, our real anniversary isn't until Tuesday, but we were only able to celebrate. We got two kids got at home. Babies. We got babies. Life has changed, but without saying too much, I want to say a lot. You have to date your spouse. You have to find time in between your kids and your busy schedule, work, work life, uh, marriage, um, parenting, um, and extra activities for the kids like ballet and stuff like that. It's a lot. So anytime you get, and it may have to be a special day like this, like an anniversary or a holiday. Good thing we have my in-laws here, her parents. So they were more than happy to watch them for us. and. Let us have some time with one another. And it's literally just one night. Got a dope view. We're gonna go drive around, probably see the water. Might go to the beach. It's hot, yo. It is hot. She wants to move to Colorado. Yes, where we can breathe. No, it's hard to breathe over there. What? Who, who people, said that? People say that it's hard for you to breathe because of altitude. Yeah, like the first week. Right. How did you do this? Ready? For what? What about that? Oh my gosh. What the hell? Look at this. Babe. You see that? Wow. How did you do this? <laughs> you got a whole team hiding somewhere? <laughs> I love it. Where's this from? Nice. Steak, asparagus, mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and jump right into this lineup tutorial. This is also going to show me knocking down the hair to a number one all the way around. And I'll go ahead and guide you through those steps as well. Because honestly, you have to pay attention to hair growth. Um, you got to see which way the hair grows, especially if you're cutting against the grain. You want to make sure you feed that hair into the guard. So I would say first thing you want to do is obviously drape your client, put a neck strip, put the cape on. And then your next step is you want to brush out the hair, see the pattern of it, comb it out. And that way you can determine which way you need to cut. Um, again, this is my, my number one guard and I'm using my cordless wall seniors. And I have the number one guard on there all the way closed. So the lever is closed and you'll see just in different angles of me cutting against the grain. You'll see which way different ways that I turn the clipper so I can feed that hair into the guard. Like I said, pay, paying attention to the hair pattern is very critical. You want to make sure that hair is even all the way all the way around. But yeah, guys, that was like a little snippet of my anniversary weekend. It was literally just one day, um, a, a one day getaway with my wife. And we celebrated seven years of marriage, 11 years together. It's a great thing. It's beautiful. It's It's been work, but man, it, it's it's just amazing when, when you can be a motivation in this generation. Uh, because me and my wife were young. You know, I'm, I'm about to be 31 next month. My wife is 28. So we're a young couple and whenever we first got engaged, a lot of people were in our ears, you know, about marriage and it's not going to work and just be careful and look, look where we're at now. So it, it's, it's a great thing, you know, celebrating seven years of marriage and it's not easy guys. I'm not going to say it's easy. It's definitely hard work, but communication is key. And again, and like I said in the beginning of my video, you have to date your spouse. So I don't want to get too much into that. Stay, I want to stay on topic, but that's what we did we celebrated our anniversary this past weekend so just wanted to throw that in there in the intro all right so yeah so right here i'm just making sure i'm cutting that hair feeding that hair into the guard brushing any kind of excess hair out the way that way you can have a clean canvas and see what you're doing my client is enjoying a, a nice cartoon on tv right now and i like to accommodate 
you know to my clients in the room what type of music shows anything that they want to watch uh i put that on for them so they can enjoy that as you know while they get a haircut on top of conversation and also a beverage a complimentary beverage of their choice that i have um so it, it's dope to have a studio man it's it's right here i'm just showing y'all me cleaning my trimmers before i'm doing the lineup you want to make sure you do this before every lineup and after every lineup with your clippers and trimmers any types of tools that you use for your haircuts you want to make sure you do that and right here i'm creating a round shape in the nape area i'm not going too high i wanted to find a nice starting point and now i'm just following it all the way to around the ear you want to make sure that you fold that ear down because you don't want to cut your client's ear especially with kids they like to move a lot so with with me i i learned how to do it with one hand if you feel more comfortable using two hands do so but i feel a lot comfortable i feel comfortable doing it with one, with one hand and then what I did with that mask, I don't know if you've seen that, I kind of twisted it and you're, you're able to get to that sideburn area a lot more easier than leaving it how, you know, regular. And then right here, I put that bottom point, starting point, and then the top starting point of the C cup. And now I'm just bringing everything together, favoring that left corner blade, right? That left side of that blade, you want to favor that on this side. And then vice versa on the other side. You're going to favor the right side of the blade on the client's left side of his head. So we're creating those nice C cup also with some ice picks into the sideburns. No square sideburns for this client. Um, and then again, we have a starting point on the back of the, on the neck. We're just going to follow that connected to the left side. Go up around the ear into the sideburn area. And you'll see that I twist the the mask again on this side to get it out the way but you don't want to create white walls for your client white walls is if you go too high around the ear you're like from a side view or even a front view you're able to see that line above the ear and you don't want that you don't want to give your client white walls um there are some older gentlemen out there like senior citizens that like white walls i probably had maybe like one or two clients that asked for it but nothing it's not common um, right there, I just wanted to make sure that the other side was proportionate to this side, um, giving me a good starting point. Again, I started at the top, went to the bottom. Now I'm bringing everything into the middle, favoring the right side of the blade now. And I'm also making sure that I have my left hand on the client's head. That way I can control it. I can uh, uh, balance it out. If you were to sneeze, move, cough, jolt in any kind of direction, I'm able to pull back my trimmer. Um, it's kind of like my safety point along with my fingers resting on the client's head. As I'm, you know, the hand that I'm using for the trimmer, you see how my fingers resting on his forehead. I'm able to, that's like my safety point. I have full control over that trimmer. And you can tell right here, I'm, I'm, I'm putting that vertical bar in, but I'm going towards his forehead. So I'm, I'm, I'm cutting away from the line. I'm not going into the lines. I don't want to push it back. When I cut the hair, I want to make sure it cuts evenly and I'm going to pull away from that hair, from that line. And then with the front lineup, guys, it's always crucial to start in the front middle, work your way to whatever side you feel more comfortable working uh, to first and then bringing it together on the other side. Me personally, I like working from left to right. So again, starting in the middle, making my way to the left side of the client's head, and then I'm going to connect it to the right side. Using your mirrors, using different angles, um, um, stepping back a little bit to see if the lineup is straight, and also determining whether the vertical bars are proportionate and even on both sides as well. You, you, there's always reference points that you can use and that's something that that you have to develop as a barber right here i'm just a, applying some hair tonic to brush down my client's hair and clean his scalp along with his hair 
and then I'll go back and touch everything up. But guys, this is pretty much the end result. A number one all the way around against the grain, which is also known as a dark Caesar. And then we did the nice crispy lineup. We did not use razor. I haven't used razor on him since I've been cutting his hair. It's probably been about seven, eight years now. Um, so everything comes out crispy and natural, no color. Just a real simple, effective haircut, guys. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment. And as always, Team Gifted, stay gifted.